to proof the rule number three of uh, Cleaves theorem lemma three, and uh, it says that if there is an FA that accepts the language defined by R1 and FA that sub language defined by R2, then you can concatenate these two FAs as well. So there is an FA that is a sub language defined by R1, R2. So it means that it says that you can concatenate two FAs, but make sure, but kindly note that concatenation for concatenation R1 R2 is not equal to R2 R1. So there will be a different FA for this and a different FA for this one. So for drawing this FA, it is quite easy that you may call it this is Z1, this is Z2, this is Z3. But you have to be careful on the final state of the first FA because the final state of the first FA is also the starting state of the next FA. So when you reach here, then you should understand that you also reach here because you combine these two, two states into a single state. And then from, from here onward, you define all the rules that like you define for the uh, combination of two FAs or for the sum of two FAs. So let's start with a simple example. So here we have two FAs. R1, the FA1 is an FA4 which accepts a string with double letters and it accepts the string ending in B. So we have to draw an FA for R1, R2. So you will concatenate in this in this way that where the string of this first FA ends, the string of the next FA starts. So like this. Uh, so now we have to the same way we have to uh, draw the table. And for table, let's say this is Z1, this is Z2, and this one and this one as a whole combine in the combined form make z3 so let's start from here we call it z1 x1 is z1 and at z1 for a you move to x2 and we call it z2 and for b you stay at x1 x1 z1 so now at x2, which we call z2, if you read letter a, you move to z3. And as you do, the final state of the first FA is, uh, is equivalent to the starting state of the second FA. So when you reach here, you also reach here. So for at state for state z2, at state z2, if you read a you move to x3 or y1 so x3 or y1 and this and we call it z3 so let me say this is z1 and uh, z2 for letter a uh, sorry for letter a you move to z2 for letter b you stay at z1 and then at z2 for letter a you move to z3 this is z3 for letter a and for letter b what happens let's see at x2 if you read letter b you move back to x1 that is z1 so you move back to Z1. And so next we have to check for state Z3. And Z3 means X3 or Y3. So this is Z3. And at Z3 when you read letter A, so let's say 
at for x3 when you letter read letter a you stay at x3 and x3 means also the the ending state of this automata is also the starting state of the next automata so for letter a you stay at x3 as well as y1 because the ending state of the first automata is also the starting state of the next automata and at y1 when you read a you stay at y1 so stay again y1 is already there so at state z3 for letter a you stay at z3 so i draw it like this and now for z3 you check for uh, letter b so at x3 when you let b read letter b you stay at x3 and x3 mean also y1 so again the same thing these two states and at y1 when you read letter b you move to y2 so i write it y so this is a new combination of three states and we call it z4 so from z3 for letter a you move to z4 and now we check for z4 and z4 means these three letters x3 y1 and y2 so we check it uh, one by one for each state at state x3 if you read letter a you stay at x3 as well as y1 so i write x3 or y1 at state y1 if you read letter a you stay at y1 it is already there at state y2 when you read letter a you move back to you move back to y1 and it is already there so you move at stay at state z3 so at state z4 when you read letter a you go to state z3 like this and at state z4 for letter b you can check it yourself you stay at z4 like this so very easy simply you can will draw a table uh, and then from this table you can draw this uh, automata and this is a basically concatenation of these two fa's r1 and r2 so for practice purposes you can have solved the next problem uh, this is a clean form of that fa now you have these two fa's and you have to find r1 r2 and r2 r1 just the way we did for the previous example so pause the video here and solve it yourself and once you are done then compare your answer with this slide this is r1 r2 and this is r2 r1. so that's it stay tuned for the next videos and that would be about that if you have an fa then you can also have an fa for if you have an fa for r1 then you can also have an fa for r star clean star that would be the topic of the next video